Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video in the Painless Answer series. It's actually an OpenTX quick tip. So if you are interested in knowing more about some of the cool stuff that you can do with your OpenTX powered radio, then go and check out that series. I'll put a link below. This video is specifically to answer the question of this gentleman here. Uh, Aster Chopper? Aster Chopper, maybe? Uh, I'm looking... Uh, for how to move OpenTX switches, but he's looking for a delay for something like the landing gear. Uh, this was a video that I was thinking about doing for a while. So let's go through two really basic ways to set this up. The cool thing is, is that you can introduce delays in things like OpenTX. So if we just open this one up and simulate it, and let's so we can see everything. Uh, channel seven and eight will assume that this is on a model where the, the, the landing gear drops down, but before the landing gear drops, the, the doors covering the landing gear have to open up first. And I've put it on switch A. So we've got channel seven and channel eight. So when I flick channel eight, the doors open, the gear drops, and then when I put the SA in the back position, the gear goes up and then the doors close. And that, I think, is what you're after. So let me show you how I've done that. It's pretty straightforward. Now, uh, I haven't done anything with flight modes or inputs or anything like that. All of this goodness is in the uh, mixes section. And in mixes, there is the ability to both delay and slow down the movement of a particular channel. Now this one that we're looking at here, channel seven, is the gear. So uh, we're going to give it uh, a delay of two seconds so that the gear is delayed uh, on one direction but not the other because you can actually decide how you want to do it. You can also introduce uh, slowing down stuff in OMTX as well. And that can be great in scale models. Rather than have the retract snap out, if you need to, you can have OpenTX open the, the doors more slowly if it's just on a simple servo. And then the way it works on the other way, if we look at the door, then the door's the other way around. Uh, the door will open immediately, but be delayed when it's closing to allow the gear to come up into the body. And obviously, if you needed uh, the gear... Uh, to, to come up fully and it needed a little bit longer, maybe it's complicated kind of rotating mechanism, uh, you might increase or decrease that. Again, using slow. And the result of that, just to kind of show you that again, is uh, that channel seven and channel eight are the two that we're interested in. When I deploy it, bang, door opens, gear comes down. When I do it the other way around, gear immediately comes up, door then closes. So that's one way to do it. And that's one of the cool things that if you look on the inputs, there isn't this ability to add delays and slow and things like that. That's one of the cool things that you can do when you're setting up stuff in mixes in OpenTX. That is the easiest way to do it. There are other, other ways to do it, playing with things like flight modes, because in flight modes, you can actually do things like change uh, the fade in and fade out and do all that kind of stuff. But to be honest, I would recommend the simple way of doing it if you are relatively new to OpenTX is just add yourself a little delay and a slow if you need it for the particular control or servo that you're playing with on your model. And using that way, you can sequence and order things to happen on the flick of one particular switch. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.